Yo, yo. Man, I got something crazy, man. Y'all already know what it is, man. It's your boy Gio. Back with another one. Man, like, look. Okay. This is an older video, but I'm not saying that it's going to happen. It, it's possible. I mean, you already know. They all connected. Whatever going on, going on. You know how it go. But, all right, here it is. So, your boy Dre, he came out with a video, and he was talking about how it was an X-rated video, and it's missing. And your boy Snoop was on it. He was on the show. Snoop said, hey, you know, it was bueno, which is good. They, they asked him how he felt about it. So he said it was good that it's gone. And it's X-rated, you know, and, you know, man. And it's part of his collection that, you know, he had set up, stored somewhere, you know, Dr. Dre. And, uh, yeah, this is, this is like a Diddy type thing, man. Like, y'all gotta check this out. It's crazy, like, you know, but, you know, you gotta understand too. Dre, he's like, he's an executive and, you know, he worked with Diddy. They cool. They, you know, they, they do, you know, they all, same parties, all the same stuff. I mean, they big dogs. I mean, you gotta think about it. I'll tell you an example. All right, so it's the difference between like an artist and an executive. So you got like executives, right? So the executives, that's like Diddy. Then you got Dr. Dre. You got Birdman. You got uh, Jay Z. You got, this is just hip hop is all I'm saying. And then you got, you know, people like that. Those are the, the executives. Like they're not even considered an artist at that point. They're not even considered as, a, as an artist at that point. Like at that point, they're not. So this is deeper than rap. It's going to be a lot of people. You know. Um, this is. It's crazy. Something big, man. Y'all got to check this out. Let me know what y'all think, man. Get into them comments, man. Drop up in the comment. Let me know what y'all think about this whole scenario, man. This whole situation. Everything that's going on, man. This is like. You know, 2024 is like. It's crazy, and it's getting to the winter time. So, you know, well, it's going to be fall, and then, you know, but, man, already. Let me know what y'all think, man. Popping content that was released directly. Tape that was stolen. Do you want to talk about that now? Yeah. What, I mean, just break it down. What happened? I mean, it was a videotape that, that we did in my house just for my private collection. You know what I mean? Snoop was a part of it. They you got know. it? <laughs> Somebody... <laughs> Somebody stole this tape from my house or something like that, and there's a lot of X-rated things on it, you know, so... <laughs> so what do we... Well, let's see a second. <laughs> Snoop, you don't know about this? Remember the tape? You're on it. It's gone. Bueno? It's gone. <laughs> so what happened? You had a party? Someone... Don't you... This is like the, the Tommy Pamela Lee thing. It's gone, now it's going to be nah, out. it's worse than that, man. <laughs> <laughs> so are we looking for it? Can we say anything? Anybody yeah, watching? I mean, Whoever you... was at Dre's house at that party, you better return that tape. Please bring I it mean... back. <laughs> oh my goodness. In 2000, Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre would appear on MTV's show Total Request Live. They would be interviewed by Carson Daly and he would ask the two about an X-rated tape that was stolen from Dr. Dre's house. And what happened? I mean, it was a videotape that, that we did in my house just for my private collection. You know what I mean? Snoop was a part of it. They you got know? it? <laughs> Somebody... <laughs> Somebody stole this tape from my house or something like that, and there's a lot of X-rated things on it, you know, so... This is like the the Tommy Pamela Lee thing. It's gone, now it's going to be nah, out. it's worse than that, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, this tape involving the two has never surfaced. Now, you know, one would say, does Dre get a pass at being such a notorious woman beater? because he makes good music. Andre went up there and got him a Spitzer watch. 
he gave it to me in front of everybody. He basically confessed his love to this man. Another man confessed his love to another man. See, every time you see one, you see another one. Next thing you know, I start painting their fingernails. It makes sense. It appears Luanell has delivered the final blow to Diddy's reputation. As her unearthed interview suggests, he's allegedly been engaging in eerie rituals with Dr. Dre. So what exactly is going on? For starters, Suge Knight has claimed that Snoop Dogg and Dr. Dre are among those involved in a secret society with Diddy. On an episode of Collect Call with Suge Knight that premiered on March 11th via Dave May's Breakbeat Media, the former music mogul suggested that rappers painting their nails and buying Diddy gifts are indications of them being a part of an exclusive group. He said, I'm not doing a song with Dre. You just go and get over with. That's what you mean. We can do Saturday Night Live, right? He said, no, I'm not doing California Love with Dre because Dre is a homosexual. Everybody gets quiet. Not everybody. The people who live quiet. I'm thinking, okay, here it goes. Trey's gonna say something slick and pack on fire on that mother. It's long, right? So Trey looks at him and says, I'm not homosexual, I'm bisexual. And Park just goes from zero to a thousand. I told you, I told you, I told you. You heard him say, you know what I mean? You heard him say he's a homosexual. Well, he, he's not a homosexual, he's bisexual. He going around, you know, he can argue with Pac. He said, Pac, you know, you stupid, man. Pac said, no, oh, you running around. I mean, Dre said, look, I'm bisexual because the fact that I can fuck up. You know, I'm bisexual because I'm the one doing the kitchen and they the one doing the pounding. 